the thing with developmental language disorder dld is that you you get help for it you get better you can sound like any other typically developed person in in terms of language but this is something that follows you throughout your life we started uh, seeing a little bit of difficulties when she was trying to express her needs or answer questions um, or descriptions so when i check with the pediatrician she said oh no though don't worry and this is usually what happens with bilingual children so she started preschool that's when we realized that it was not a problem of uh, bilingual exposure i was behind in my expressive language by two years and a few months and my receptive language by one year so i was at four, i was a four-year-old understanding at around a three-year-old level speaking at a two and a few months year mm -hmm. level she was reading writing the only thing that we did notice was again the social interaction with other kids mm -hmm. you know adults we are very patient when a child wants to tell you something yes and you help them because you know where they are going to but another kid or kids, if they are playing and there is somebody that is either asking or not understanding what's going to happen, oh, forget her. Mm -hmm. They continue with their activity. So we started noticing that she was having these problems of being able to be a part of the group. It made me look like the weird kid. It made me, it made me look dumb. And so I was called names, derogatory names, like slurs for having DLD or having a learning disability. I remember getting the shock of my life in eighth grade in my history final, where it had multiple choice, short answers, and an essay. And at that time, I wasn't receiving accommodations from the school. And we had to complete it in an hour. And there I was re rereading the same sentence more than three times, just trying to understand what they were asking me in the first place. I failed that exam because I did not have enough time to answer the questions, didn't even get to the essay. Extra time on my tests and quizzes. In my middle and high school, they only allowed me time and a half. In college, they allowed me double time, and that was a real blessing. Having the PowerPoints before the class started was really, was just super helpful for me as well. That I started receiving in college, not in high school. And that was great because then I didn't have to worry about writing down what was on the screen in front of me. I just had to worry about what I was listening to. So it took off one of the, the difficulties, the strains of, of learning. Just because you have a language disorder does not define who you are and what you are capable of doing. If you have a doubt or if you think your child has a language problem, seek help immediately. For a parent, it is hard, but the only way you're going to support your child is if you accept and if you don't panic. You know, that's, I think those are the two first things that you have to um, do. Yes, the disorder will always be with you and it could, it could make things more difficult, but that doesn't make things impossible.